How goes it, Mrs. Batley? Oh, not too good, Mr. Smithers. Got them rheumatic pains in my legs again, something cool. Well, you get off home and have a nice lie down. Mmm, so wish I could. Help me on with this coat, will you, Mr. Smithers? Certainly, Mrs. Batley. Thank you. And stay there with that left arm, that ain't too good neither. Getting old, that's what it is. Not you, you're as lively as a kitten. Ah, uh, go on. Nice cup of tea will put you right. Yes, well, I've got a bit of shopping to do first. And a bit more cleaning when I get home. And uh, where's my shopping basket? In English there was, there's one good thing. None of that jabber, jabber, jabber like them four foreigners in the tram the other day. Hey, she! Who's there? Oh, hey, she! Yes? Where are you? Hey, she, look here. Can you tell me how far I am from the clubhouse? What clubhouse? Why, the West Windlesham Golf Club, of course. Sorry, but I never heard of it. I live out Walthamstow way myself. Walthamstow? Good heavens, this isn't Waltham still, is it? No, it ain't a bit like it. So I dare say it's what you said, West West Windlesham ought to be, because I was there. Tell me, do you uh, play golf? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we play golf, huh? Well, nobody never asked me that before. I never come here to be asked that. Yeah, it's very amusing. Look, if anyone should ask for me, I'm Sir George Gedley. Sir George Gedley. And see. You haven't seen anyone about, have you? Yes. There was two ladies and a gentleman that just went up them steps. Up those steps? Thank you very much. I suppose they even know where they are. Why, they live round here, probably. Sure to, eh? Mm. Well, I'm a bit tired myself, or I'd have caught up to them. Yes, I'm sure you would. I see. I see. Anybody there? Anybody about? Ain't Sir George Gidney you want, is it? No. I was calling for my husband. I'm Mrs. Stritton. I'm Mrs. Batley. Was your husband with you? Yes. We were together till about ten minutes ago. We're always together. We always have been. Yes. Well, that's how some likes it and some don't. Perhaps we're dead. No. We'd feel different if we was dead. Either we'd feel nothing at all or we'd feel different and I'd feel just the same as I did. Feet aching, rheumatic, pains in my legs and all. Just the same. And besides, I've got my shopping basket. And I wouldn't have that with me if I was dead. That'd be silly. I'm going to look for him. Malcolm! 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 And then I told her exactly what I thought of her. And it did me good. So I walked down to the bar after having had a couple of double gins and limes. It was pitch dark outside, and uh, the next minute it seems I'm wandering around here asking you where we are. I'm no better off than you. You see, I was in a train going to Tewkesbury. Tewkesbury? I went there once at the Red Lion. Hello, who's that? Excuse me, but are you Mr. Stritton? Yes, I'm Stritton. Well, your wife's looking for you. Yes, of course, I've been looking for her. Since when? No, really, I have. Where is she? She went on there somewhere. Oh. Uh, Dorothy! Well, said as if you meant it. Dorothy! Malcolm! Yes, dear, here I am. Here he is! Malcolm, I've been looking for you everywhere. I've been looking for you. Can't have been looking very hard. Oh, he was. Don't let's waste any more time, Malcolm. We ought to find out exactly where we are. Unless, of course, your friends already told you. Excuse me. Come along, Malcolm. Mm. I've been looking for you everywhere. I was dreadfully worried. And then I find you with that awful woman. Really, Malcolm, where did you pick her up? I simply can't understand you behaving like this. <laughs> well, we know who wears the trousers there, don't we? I knew it before I saw him. <laughs> Have a cigarette? No, thank you, dear. Never took to it. Well, I feel better. I don't know where I am or what's going to happen, but I feel better. And anyhow, I didn't know what was going to happen before this happened, so what's the odds? That's right, dear. Ever been a waitress? No, but my cousin's youngest is a waitress. Looks nice in her uniform, too, she do. That's her life, I'm telling you. Talk about your feet. I sometimes felt mine must be as big as footballs. And it's a mean life, too. Gosh, it's mean. You wouldn't believe. Most of the time, the management's trying to cheat the customers, and half the time, the customers are trying to cheat the management. You don't say. But the women. 
Half of them think they're buying you along with their pot of tea and beans on toast. I could have killed them. Men aren't so bad. Except, of course, half of them got their pig's eyes sticking out their head trying to imagine what you've got under your uniform, and some of them pinch you, too. That's right. One of them pinched me once. Up a Clapton Road, it was, outside of greengrocers. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, dear, I'm just going to see if there's something a bit more comfortable further up them steps. What's the matter with people, anyhow? They're all strung up inside, dear, because they ain't getting their little bits of happiness. That's all. Yes, and then they try to take it out on somebody else, eh? That's right. Ma, I thought some of these others would want to go back, but not you, Ma. I'm disappointed in you. I thought better of you. Now, what are you talking about, eh? I'm talking about you, Ma. I thought you at least would want to stay down there and not come creeping back. You do like to hear yourself talk, don't you? Don't take any notice of her, Mrs. Batley. I don't. Have you seen my husband? No, Mrs. Stratton. Did they tell you the way to go back? No. I never asked him. You see, I ain't going that way. I'm stopping here. That's the girl. Only come back to get me basket. I might as well have it. But I'm surprised at you, Mrs. Batley. How's that? Well, I thought you said you had a lot of responsibilities. Looking after people, taking care of a home, going out cleaning. That's it. Had years and years of it. Could have done with half a dozen pairs of hands sometimes. Well, you can't leave it all to stay here. Can't I? Who says I can't? So long as I can remember they've been telling me what I can do and what I can't do. And no thanks for it, neither, when I did what I could do. Well, some of them can look after themselves now for a change. It'll do them good. You like it here, don't you, Ma? When I first saw all them children coming out of them fine houses, and all them mothers looking so nice and smiling, and everything so clean and pretty, I could have cried. I fancy I dreamt about it once when I was a girl. And all them bright streets, and the gardens, and the children's faces. I remember being quite upset at the time, thinking it was nothing but a dream, just tormenting myself, as you might say. But it ain't. It's real. It's here. Behave yourself, young men. <laughs> 